I'm Don Skelton, the Athletic Director here at Magnolia Heights. We'd like to welcome you to our 2019-2020 Athletic Awards. Uh, we've had a great, successful season, and we want to honor all of our athletes that have, that have played this season for us in all of our sports. Each athletic department's success depends on faculty, administration, staff, and the supporters that you have. We have the best here at Magnolia Heights. We would also like to thank the coaches, their families, for the support that they've given us this year. At this time, we'd like to turn it over to Coach Cliff Young, our head football coach. Good evening. At this time, I will be introducing the 2019 football team, roster, and individual awards. I'll begin with introducing the seniors on our football team. And this group of young men holds a very special place in my heart because it's um, one of the few teams that I started with in the seventh grade and have gone all, of, all the way through the, the 12th grade. Um, one of my fondest memories of, the, of this particular group is pr one of our first games that we played was at Jackson Academy when they were in the seventh grade. I believe it was their first time to ever play on artificial turf. It was early September, it was very hot, and I think we had about 14 kids on our roster at that time, and Jackson Academy had roughly 50 or 60 kids that they were platooning in and out, and they were officially introduced uh, to the game of football that day. Um, they showed tremendous resilience um, throughout their years, and. Uh, tremendous character and they they were a team that played uh, for each other not for themselves so I take great pride in introducing our senior football players uh, Kyle Brewer Zach Bishop Aiden Sowell Bo Young Benjamin Burnett Lawton Perry Garen Windham, Brock Boatner, Grant Bogan, Alex Bailey, Grant Borgannoni, Sides McLeod, Eli Johnson, John Reese Stafford, Ben Hinton, Jack Durden. Those are our senior members of our football team. Our juniors are Blake Kirby, Ash Pepper, Hunter Jones, Gavin Woods, Asa Moore, Taylor Johnston, Blake Dunlap, Hunter Pugh, and Walker Gatewood. Those are our junior football players. Spencer McGraw, Hunter Harris, Jackson Thomas, Brady Harris, John Michael Verratti, Colin Borgannoni, Brendan Clayton, Carson O'Connor, Garrett Smith, Bowen Goff, and Ted Billingsley. That rounds out our, our 2019 football roster. Um, our coaching, our coaching staff, our offensive coordinator, Coach Ed Rich, assistant coaches, Will Morgan, Blake Frazier, and Wynn Scott. We appreciate the effort that these guys, the amount of hours that they've put in in preparation of these young men, and I, I appreciate all the, all the hard work that they've put into our football program. Our support staff, uh, Dr. Forrester Rule, our head trainer, David Ferguson and Clayton Sibley. Our filmer, David Rich. Our managers, Hayden Harris, Maddox McMinn, Jake Johnston, Ty Young, and Mac Bushlong. I will now move to announcing our team awards. These team awards are voted on by team members. And we'll begin with most valuable back and that award goes to Garen Windham. Most Valuable Receiver, Bo Young. MVP O-Line, Sides McLeod. MVP D-Line, Grant Borgannoni. 
MVP defensive back, Bo Young. MVP linebacker, Zach Bishop. MVP special teams award goes to Lawton Perry. Our team captains this year are Brock Boatner and John Reese Stafford, and our chief award goes to Brock Boatner. I will now move to all conference, and these, these awards were voted on by the coaches in our, uh, in our particular conference. First team all conference, running back, Kyle Brewer. Receiver, Bo Young. Defensive back, Hunter Jones. Offensive line, Sides McLeod. Linebacker, Brock Boatner. Second team all conference, quarterback, Blake Kirby. Defensive back, Gavin Woods. Running back, Garen Windham. H back, Grant Bogan. Offensive line, Eli Johnson. Offensive line, John Reese Stafford. Linebacker, Zach Bishop. Receiver, Ash Pepper. Linebacker, Hunter Pugh and linebacker Asa Moore. That concludes the awards for the 2019 football team. At this time, I'll turn the microphone over to uh, Bobby Bushlon for the announcing of the Colby Mason Athletic Award. On behalf of the Colby Mason family, I'm proud to participate in the honoring of the recipient of the Colby Mason Athletic Award. Congratulations to John Reese Stafford. Thank you for carrying on Colby's legacy of grit and grace on and off the field. Congratulations, John Ray Stafford. Good evening, my name is Coach Morgan. Uh, what I'm gonna do is recognize the varsity girls and varsity boys track teams. Uh, you know, we didn't get very far into these seasons, didn't even make it to our first meet, but I just wanna thank everyone who was involved for their hard work. Um, leading up into the season and obviously COVID-19. So this time I'm going to recognize the girls track team first. Um, Anna James Mize, Maggie May, Gracie Simmons, Alexis Jenkins, Blair Harris, Taylor Spriggs, and Larson Howard. Again, I just want to thank those girls for showing up to practice each day, ready to work, ready to run, something that's not always fun to do, uh, but just thank you for that. Uh, for the boys track team, starting with the seniors, uh, 12th grader Grant Borgannoni, Jack Durden, juniors Taylor Johnston, Blake Kirby, Blake Dunlap, Asa Moore, Hunter Jones, sophomores, John Michael Verratti, Hunter Harris, Nick Hall, and Colin Borgannoni. And our, our lone ninth grader that ran with the varsity group was Brady Harris. So again, that was our uh, varsity track teams. Uh, as stated, we didn't get very far. I just hope these guys will come out next year and be ready to run and work hard as well. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Coach Bubba Skelton for varsity boys basketball. Okay, now I'll be introducing our roster for our 2019-2020 men's basketball team. Starting with our senior class, Seth Powell and Aiden Sowell. Our juniors, Walker Cahill, Ash Pepper, Charlie Taylor, Blake Dunlap, Griff Gaines, and Colin Ruder. Sophomores, Nick Hall and Nathan Fernholtz. Our freshman, Keandre Fields. Uh, this was a great team for us. Felt like we really came along as the year uh, went to the end. Uh, we peaked at the right time, obviously, in North State by winning that game and also came up winning those three games and also came up with a uh, great season of 22 wins. Uh, now I'd like to introduce our team awards for this year. Our team captains, first of all, our two seniors, Seth Powell and Aiden Sowell. Our best offensive player, Charlie Taylor. Our best defensive player, Keandre Fields. Our hustle award, Griff Gaines. Most improved, Nathan Fernholtz. Uh, our most versatile player, Colin Ruder. 
Um, also, our all-conference awards. First team all-conference, Seth Powell. First team all-conference, Colin Ruder. Honorable mention all-conference, Charlie Taylor. Honorable mention all-conference, Nathan Fernholtz. And honorable mention all-conference, Keandre Fields. Uh, our senior, Seth Powell, also uh, was 4A All-State this year for us. Our most valuable player this year, Seth Powell. Hi, I'm Chris McMahon, head basketball coach of the Magnolia Heights Lady Chiefs. I'd like to say a few words about our season to begin with. Uh, the 2019-2020 season ended up pretty successful for our Lady Chiefs. We played hard. I thought we got better as the season went along. And uh, there's bright things to come for the future of this group. I'd like to first read our roster before getting into awards. Uh, our two seniors were Claire Meeks and Blakely Denman, followed by our juniors, Ashton McMinn, Izzy Sowell, Lucy Lipscomb, Gracie Metatol, Taylor Lauder. Our sophomores were Bailey Carpenter and Bailey Pippen. And we also had two freshmen, Sidney Coleman and Gracie Bolin, who played on the varsity team as well. I'd like to thank Wynn Scott and Caitlin Hadley for all their help this year, Coach Skelton for everything that he did for us, as well as Dr. Lishman and Bobby Bushline. I'd also like to thank Ms. Savage for all her hard work with uh, the computer stuff and everything she did for the tournament for us hosting the North half this year. Our Lady Chiefs ended with a 20 and 12 record this year, finished third in the conference. Uh, but we did contribute to a lot of improvement throughout the year. Uh, our awards this year. We'll start off by our captains. Our captains this year were selected as Claire Meeks and Blakely Denman. Our MVP of the year was Bailey Carpenter. Best offensive player, Lucy Lipscomb. Best Defensive Player, Gracie Metatol. Our Hustle Award, who fought through some illness throughout the years, Taylor Lauder. Most Improved was Bailey Pippen. Our Most Versatile Player was Ashton McMinn. And our All-Conference Awards that are selected by the coaches in the conference. First Team All-Conference was Bailey Carpenter. Honorable Mention, Lucy Lipscomb. Taylor Lauder, Ashton McMinn, and Gracie Metatol. We're excited about the upcoming season. Uh, obviously, we hate that we couldn't do this in person, but we're excited to get back to some, somewhat normal in school next year and starting to practice and get ready for our 2020-2021 season. Thank you. Hi, Josh Hadley here, uh, the golf coach for Magnolia Heights. This will be my first year doing it, following up Coach Coleman. Um, we obviously didn't get our season rolling like we would have liked, uh, but we did get on the golf course one time and have a practice, so we would just want to recognize um, all the participants that came out and uh, we're, we're going to be a part of the team. So starting with our seniors, uh, we have Benjamin Cooper, uh, John Marshall Cooper, Seth Powell, Ben Hinton, and Eli Johnson. And for our juniors, we had Ash Pepper and Griff Gaines. And our 10th graders were Jackson Thomas and Hayes Smith. Uh, our 9th graders were Anderson Gentry and Jackson Jenkins. Our three 7th graders were Ryan Milam, Caden Collins, and Cannon Caldwell. Hey guys, I'm Coach Blaylock, the uh, soccer coach here at Magnolia Heights. Uh, before we get started, first I want to say uh, thank you to the boys and girls soccer team and Magnolia Heights itself. Um, this has actually been a great year. And I just really appreciate everything all of you have done. Um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my girls soccer roster. Mary Hollis G. Jordan Tyson. Claire Meeks. Lauren Barbie. J.C. Moore. Morgan Nossif. Blair Harris. Larson Howard. Maggie May. Lily Carpenter. A.J. Mize. Alexis Jenkins. Kate Ayers. Mackenzie Nossif, Mary Addison Johnson, Annalise Hall, Adeline Slocum, Emily Mize, 
Annie Finke, Mary Emma Raff, Haley Rhodes, Darby Wooliver, Lila Verratti, and Meredith Nichols. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump straight to the girls' soccer awards. For our best offensive player, Mackenzie Nossif. Best midfielder, Larson Howard. Best defender, Claire Meeks. Most improved, Lily Carpenter. The Chief Award, Darby Wooliver. Our 12th Man Award, Kate Ayers. Captains are Mary Hollis G. and Claire Meeks. All Conference, Mary Hollis G. MIS All Star, Mary Hollis G. And finally, the most valuable player, Mary Hollis G. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started with our boys' soccer team. John Marshall Cooper, Ben Cooper, Lawton Perry, Jack Durden, Noah Hollingsworth, Morgan Boone, J.T. King, Drew Gordon, Brady Harris, Lane Hodges, Ethan Melton, Ross Thompson, Charlie Murphy, Chase Jennings, Denton Vance, Lane Williams, Parker Bright, John Griffin Lane, Logan Phillips, Stephen Burnett, Antonio Simonetti, and Luke Hodges. For boys awards, best offensive player, Ben Cooper. Best midfielder, Ethan Melton. Best defender, Parker Bright. Most improved, Ross Thompson. The Chief Award, John Marshall Cooper. The 12th Man Award, Chase Jennings. Captains, Lawton Perry and Morgan Boone. All Conference, Morgan Boone. MAIS All-Star, Lawton Perry. And Most Valuable Player, Lawton Perry. Um, I'm Caitlin Hadley, and I'm going to introduce the cross-country runners. For boys, we have Charlie Murphy and Devin Grossman. For the girls, Gracie Boland, Sydney Coleman, Mackenzie Nossif, Emily Mize, Annalise Hall, Hannah Carney, and Ann Lawton Ross. Our season was kind of short this year due to several meets being canceled or moved due to weather. We were able to participate in a couple of meets, one being the MIS overall meet. We had our best showing at the Tupelo Spartan Invitational. In the two mile JV boys division, Charlie Murphy finished sixth and Devin Grossman finished third. In the varsity girls division, uh, three mile, Gracie Bowen finished ninth. Sydney Coleman finished fifth, and Mackenzie Nonsif finished third. And that's all. Hey, I'm Coach Scott. I'm the tennis coach here at Magnolia Heights. Um, unfortunately, our season got cut short this year. Um, we got one practice in. It was a good practice, but uh, uh, we didn't get to go do anything further than that. But I'd like to introduce our team at this time, starting with the seniors. Um, senior Alex Zeck, Mary Mason Norwood, Jovi Jones, Blakely Denman, Marilee Hensley, and Hannah Clayton. And now I'll just go down the list with the rest of the kids that were uh, on part of the tennis team. Riley Biddle, Reese Biddle, Drew Gordon, Nathan Fernholtz, Charlie Wells, Ellie Smith, Jackson Waldrop, Annalise Hall, Ann Lawton Ross, Savannah Tapp, Charlie Murphy, Tori Larson, Reese Scott, Hayden Brown, and Harper Valencia. That's your 2019-2020 Magnolia Heights tennis team. Thank you. Good evening, MHS family and friends. I'm Brett Profek, head softball coach here at MHS. We had a tremendous 2019 softball season this year. We achieved our ultimate goals as a team, first in winning Class 4A North Half, and then continuing on to clinch the Class 4A state championship. 
With that being said, I would like to introduce our 2019 softball members, starting with our JV players. Freshman Emily Ashmore. Freshman Sydney Coleman. Freshman Gracie Boland. Eighth grader Caitlin Edlin. Eighth grader Aubrey Massing. Eighth grader Olivia Maccabee. Eighth grader Callie Daniels. Seventh grader Neely Grantham. Seventh grader Madeline Kimsey. Seventh grader Macy Sowell. And sixth grader Gracie Jenkins. I would like to now introduce our 2019 state championship team, starting with our seniors. Senior Molly Harris. Senior Anna Stimpickle. Senior Kayla Agner. Junior Morgan Jennings. Junior Gracie Metatal. Junior Elena Thompson. Junior Haley Alberson. Sophomore KK Dickerson. Sophomore Bailey Carpenter. Sophomore Bailey Pippin. Freshman Emily Ashmore. Freshman Sydney Coleman. Freshman Gracie Boland. Eighth grade Aubrey Massing. Eighth grade Peyton McMinn. Seventh grade Neely Grantham. And seventh grade Madis Madeline Kimsey. Many of our players received all MAIS recognition this year. I would like to acknowledge those players' achievements. Starting with all MAIS district, senior Molly Harris, senior Kayla Egner, junior Morgan Jennings, junior Gracie Metatal, junior Elena Thompson, and junior Haley Albertson. Honorable mention all district, senior Aniston Pickle, Sophomore Bailey Carpenter, sophomore Bailey Pippin, and eighth grade Peyton McMinn. We had three players achieve all MAIS state this year senior Molly Harris, senior Kayla Agner, and junior Morgan Jennings. The player of the year this year went to our senior Kayla Agner. We had two senior All Stars participate in the All Star game this year senior Molly Harris and senior Kayla Agner. Our All-Star Most Valuable Player this year went to Molly Harris. We look forward to achieving greatness again this 2020 fall season led by our seniors. I appreciate all the support from the players, their families, and friends, and of course our fans. Please keep in prayers and thoughts with our friend Noah Ray throughout his journey to recovery. Thank you and have a great evening. Hi, I'm Chris McMinn, head baseball coach at Magnolia Heights. Uh, this time of year, baseball season is usually in the state championship week or getting prepared to, for it. Uh, so we usually don't give awards anyway, thankfully. So this is just a recognition of our 2020 team and that it, the season was cut short. We'll go in numerical order of our roster. Number one, junior Ozzie Pratt. Number two, sophomore Ethan Coley. Number three, junior Colin Reuter. Number four, freshman Jacob Lott. Number six, ninth grader Drew Prosick. Number seven, junior Eli Selby. Number eight, ninth grader Ethan Melton. Number nine, junior Morgan Boone. Number 10, sophomore Garrett Smith. Number 11, junior C.J. Lofton. Number 12, Brendan Clayton, sophomore. Number 14, junior Noah Ray. Number 15, eighth grader Will Howell. Number 17, junior Morgan Boone. Number 20, eighth grader Harlan Hovater. Number 23, ninth grader Jackson Jenkins. Number 31, ninth grader Keandre Fields. Number 38, junior Ned Mayer. Number 40, ninth grader John Ellis Price. Number 42, sophomore Logan Lipscomb. Number 44, eighth grader Reggie Reed. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank 
Russ Pratt, Andrew Murphy, and Ed Rich for their help this year, their assistance. Athletic Director Bubba Skelton, Headmaster Dr. Lishman, and Principal Bobby Bushline. Uh, we'd also like to take this opportunity to let everybody know about uh, Noah Ray. Please take time and your thoughts and prayers to be with him throughout this process. Uh, and that's it for our 2021 season. Hi, I'm Ellen Gualson, one of the three varsity cheer coaches with Beverly Ward and Robin Johnston. And I would like to introduce this year's varsity cheer squad. Elena Hager, Anna Orman, Mary Mason Norwood, Mary Lee Hensley, Hannah Clayton, Blakely Denman, Lauren Barbie, Mary Hollis G, and Anna Grace Cattell. That was our senior squad. Our juniors are Lucy Lipscomb, Ashton McMahon, Hannah Hatchett, and our sophomores are A.J. Mize, Rebecca Bailey, Taylor Spriggs, Larson Howard, and Gracie Simmons. This year we had five chosen at camp as All-American cheerleaders, Alana Hager, Anna Orman, Mary Hollis G., Lucy Lipscomb, and Ashton McMahon. This was a great group to work with. Um, it was a large squad of seniors and they showed a lot of leadership and a lot of dedication and we hope that y'all were able to enjoy a lot of their cheering this year. And we are going to give three awards. Um, the first award is going to be for leadership and it's going to be, it was a tie between these two girls and I thought it was ironic that it's also our two captains, Elena Hager and Anna Orman. Elena and Anna hold, um, hold a special place in our heart because they were such good leaders and they were always positive and dedicated to our squad. And our um, next award is the Commitment Award. And it was, we told the girls to just vote for one person, but uh, the votes got split three ways. And I was so proud that this commitment award goes to Hannah Clayton. Hannah Clayton always stepped up and went above and beyond. She dedicated um, all of her wonderful artistic abilities. She made all our signs. She was always there to help us and put up chairs and do whatever we needed her to do. And she was always the first one to get there and the last one to leave. So um, we just want to thank her and we're so proud of her achieving the Leadership Award. And I also want to tell them how much we're going to miss this group of seniors and all of their leadership that they gave us and all of the fun times. Beverly and I moved up at Varsity Cheer with these girls and um, we've enjoyed having them for the last three years. And I just wanted to say that the cheer squad is cheering you on, Noah Ray, from back home. And we're just praying that everything goes well in your recovery. Thank you.